everyone, Bev here. Welcome to a new episode of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evo 2 Coach Career Series. Now, in this episode, I'll be playing the last two games of the home and away season. We're coming into these last two games off the back of a loss, so we'll be aiming not to do what the Western Bulldogs have done in real life, and that's drop their last three games of the home and away season. But uh, anyway, if you're a regular viewer of this series, welcome back. If you're new, please go back and watch the previous episodes before diving in to this episode. All right, let's not muck around. Let's get to my neck of the woods, Tasmania, to take on Hawthorne in a massive round 22 encounter. Let's go. Go the doggies. Let's get into Saturday night footy at University of Tasmania Stadium in Launceston. This is north of where I live here in Tassie. I'm based in Hobart, of course. And Hawthorne will be very hungry to win this game because they're 10th on the ladder and four points outside the eight with two games to go. There's their team. Now, a bunch of changes have been made to the Dogs team. Smith is injured for a week. Keith is suspended for a week. Jordan Sweeters have been omitted. McRae, Jaray, Gardner come in. Here we go, round 22 action. It's Hawthorne taking on my beloved Western Bulldogs. We're underway here at Utahs. English taps it and then gets his own footy. Handballs it off to Trelaw, who sends it inside 50 in the Dunkley direction. It's going to take a couple of bounces. It's a foot race here. Hawthorne win the foot race, but that's a dodgy old kick to a pack. Bonampelli to Dunkley! What a goal that was! Doggies have the first. English. Bruce. Handball wasn't great. Turned over. Hawthorne. Kick a footy forward. Comes off hands. Williams had it. Lost it. Hawthorne in possession. Now that's a good kick. I don't know who it was, but Bramble's got the footy. So this to square the scores up at six apiece. Nailed it. I think he might have scored his first goal, Lockie Bramble, in this exact game a couple of weeks ago, off memory. Bruce gets it to Jamara. Oh, look at Jamara running rings around his opponent. Shot at goal is perfect. Lock it in. Dogs are in front by a goal. 12 to 6. Back in the middle. English. Clearing kick. Off hands. Nice tackle from the bot. Here's Jamara again. Took a bit too long to get rid of it. Jass handball was intercepted. Here's Norton getting a kick away. That's good. Dogs extend the lead to two goals. Back in the middle. No way! Well, it is Sean Burgoyne that's kicked it, so maybe no surprise, but that's a ridiculous goal. Is McAvoy with the free kick. Not sure why Mitch Wallace has been reported. Patton! Well, we know he doesn't play in real life anymore, but he does play in AFL Evo 2. He's directly in front here, long range. That kick is a little topsy-turvy, but it gets through, so Hawthorne... With the quick response, two in a row, scores level again. Would love English to tap it to Trelaw. Oh, nearly did. Trelaw gets a handball away. Bon and Pelly's kick was basically smothered. Hawthorne, work a kick to the centre square. Bit of a foot race here. Bruce picks it up. Shot at goal, that could bounce through. It does! So here's Gardner with the football. You know what, I'm going to go for a shot. Stuff it. Torpedo. Don't think it's going to make the journey. In fact, it did make the journey in the end, just not the accuracy. Oh, nice intercept. Jamara, handball away, wasn't effective. Hawthorne turn it over though, and Dunkley receives a handball and kicks it through. Dogs are back in front. Get the tackle. 
that's annoying. Should have tackled him. Here's Bond and Pelly. Handball over the top. Dale had it, lost it. Jamara, big tackle. Spills out. Dale collects. Dale, no. Dale, no. No, that should have been a goal. It's hit into the woodwork. I had more time than I thought. Jaff. Cray. Oh, look at this. Oh, that kick. Dunkley for his third. Yes! Half time at Utah Stadium in Launceston. Cracking game so far. And it's the Dogs leading by two points. Five straight 30 to 5 2 32. Dunkley has three. He's probably one of the standouts at the moment. Let's not muck around. Let's get straight into the second half. Go, Dogs! That's a terrible kick from Hawthorne. Sending a high ball. Off hands. Hannon comes away with it. Handballs it off to Wallace. Wallace towards Dunkley. Oh, gee, I'm making a meal out of it, but I've got it. Dogs have got it. Jeray gets it through. Oh, no. Cordy, no. I've just given it straight back to Hawthorne. O'Brien from just inside 50. Kick is there, so the margin back to three. Three-quarter time, siren has sounded. The Dogs have a narrow three-point lead at three-quarter time. Get set for a massive fourth quarter here at Utah Stadium. Come on, the Doggies! Oh, no. Good tap there from Cordy. But Hawthorne are going to come away with the footy here. And that's a goal. They're in front. Did you just see that? Hardikins just kicked it into the point post. And I'm going to send it towards Wallace. So I'm a certainty to kick this. Well, I'm never a certainty, to be honest. But anyway, Wallace. Need to kick this. Oh, no. I think I've messed it up. I've messed it up. No. I shouldn't have said I was a certainty to kick it. That jinxed me. Hawthorne, high ball. Comes off hands. Here's Daniel. Go, Daniel. Off to Gardner. Gardner towards Dunkley. No, it's Wallace who takes the mark. I'm going to go back and try and kick it. There's not much time left, you would think. Oh, no, I stuffed this one up too. It's going, though. Oh, across the face. A point the difference. Deep into time on. Well, not really deep into time on. 21 minutes, 22 minutes gone. But there can't be much time left. Sicily... Jaff. Come on, Gardner. Oh, Gardner, you've got to get a hand to that, mate. Nice work, Daniel. Dunkley now with the football. Wallace again. Hebel off to McRae. Yes. Go, McRae. No. What am I doing? They're going to milk time off the clock here, Hawthorne. Hardwick with the football. Get him! That's ball! That's ball! Yes! Josh Bruce has got a chance. A chance to kick this. Come on! Yes! Get in there! Get in there! Doggies are in front! Come on! Back in the middle. Can't be long left. McAvoy inside 50. No! Oh, how did he not... What What happened there? How 
did Morrison not go for the shot there? And how did I win that? Wow. What a game. What a game. I'm stunned. I I'm just flabbergasted that Morrison didn't have a shot there. Anyway, I'll take it. I mean, the donkeys, they did, in all fairness, miss a few easy ones. So, probably deserved the win in the end. But what a game. Hawthorne, 7 straight 42, defeated by the Dogs, 7 5 47 in Launceston, Tasmania. There's the match stats. Let's have a look at the major ball winners. Hardikin with 10 disposals, the best for Hawthorne. The best for the Dogs was English and Bond and Pelling with 8 disposals each. The goal kickers, all singles for Hawthorne, Wingard, Burgo and Gunston. Dunkley kicked a bag of three. They all came in the first half of the match. As we take a look at the player of the match, Marcus Bon and Pelly gets the three votes. Burgoyne, Hardwick also getting in the votes. Pretty good game of football. Hope, you're en hope you enjoyed that one. I'll say it again, I'm stunned that we didn't lose that given Morrison had a shot that he should have went back and kicked. But anyway, doesn't matter to me because the doggies have got the four points and that's all that matters. Doggies, doggies, doggies! Bark, bark, bark! Let's get to Marvel now and take on Port Adelaide in our final game of the regular season. Go the doggies! Here we go, Sunday Arvo footy at Marvel Stadium, round 23. Big game coming up between the Doggies and Port Adelaide. They both sit inside the top four. So it's a top four battle. As we take a look at the Doggies team, Bailey Smith, Alex Keith, Toby McLean come in for Bailey Dale, who's injured. Bailey Williams and Lockie McNeil have both been omitted. There's the Port Adelaide team. They defeated us in round nine by a goal at the Adelaide Oval. And they've won their last three. So this is going to be a tough game, that is for sure. The sun's out, but it's foggy. Weird conditions. I'm not sure why the roof is opened, given it's foggy outside. But anyway, we'll just have to deal with it. Round 23, top four battle. It's the doggies and power. We're underway here at Marvel. Law couldn't quite get an effective handball away. Kick to the centre. Gardner's there. Port Adelaide come away with it. Here's Marshall, I think. Takes a bounce. He's got an open goal square ahead of him. And no mistake. So back in the middle. Bruce in the ruck because... Martin's out. Port Adelaide with the football here. Thanks to a turnover. And Marshall again has got the footy. I thought Zane Cordy was a chance of marking that. Hence why I didn't decide to spoil. So Port Adelaide could have the first two here. And yep, lock it in. Oh, Dixon. Gee, kick that from a long way. Port Adelaide had the first three here. Back in the middle. Doggies need a goal here. Port Adelaide off to a fast start. Gee, they're smashing me out of the centre. Oh, my God. They've got the first four. This team is serious. Doggies need to lift. No. What is going on here? They got the first five. Okay, I need to change something. So here's Daniel. To Gardner. Off to Libo. We've got to move it quick here. Trelaw now with the footy. Handballs it off to Dunkley. This is looking good here. Looking very good. Kick towards Hunter. Yep, he's got it. And Hunter's got Libba. Who's worked his ass off to get to that position. And he takes the mark. So this is basically our first opportunity of the game to get a score. Let's see what Libba can do here. And the Dogs have got their first. After a fast start from Port Adelaide, the Doggies are finally on the board. Trelaw ends up with the footy. Nice mark from Dunkley. Handballed over the top. 
to Libba. Libba, oh, hits the post. A chance there for two in a row, and he's wasted it. English. Oh, tapped it to no one, and Port Adelaide off they go here. Rosie. Kicks it through. Port Adelaide are destroying the dogs at the moment. This is not good. No, come on. What's going on here? Oh, this is frustrating. Why is there no one in the goal square? Look at all these loose numbers. It's ridiculous. What? I don't know what's going on here. Our team is not playing the system well. Oh! Oh! Mackenzie decided to play on and it could gift Dunkley a goal here. He's directly in front, long range. We need this. He's not going to kick it. It's behind. Nice spoil. Here's Waitman. Nice. Norton takes the mark. Should kick this. This is a much needed goal for the Dogs. Have I missed that? No, it's gone through. Thank God. Oh, no! No! That's on the siren, too. 49 points, the margin. Port Adelaide in front. 10 3 to 2 2 14. I'm going to have to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to pull something out of the hat here if, if I'm going to come back from... From this margin. Here goes Keith. Waitman. Well done. So Waitman needs to kick this. It's there. Come on, doggies. Let's spark a comeback. Never say never. Here's McRae. Oh, no. The kick was interrupted by the tackle. He was away, too. Daniels' handball wasn't great. Farrell got through a couple. Handballs it off. Port Adelaide are just too good. Nice spoil there from Daniel. But Port Adelaide just have numbers everywhere. This is atrocious. Here's Rosie. Inside 50 and Vantasia takes the mark. Probably fair to say we're probably not going to win this game from here. It's gone through. Fantasia kicks it through. Adds more pain to the dogs. He's got two. So here's Bruce. Waitman. Plays on. Handballs it off to Hannon. Sends it inside 50. Norton the target. Didn't get to him. He's got it, though. Handballs it off to Dunkley. Oh, I've made a meal of that. I have made an absolute meal of it, but luckily I'm going to get a free kick for holding the ball. And Jaray belts it through. English. Trelaw had it, lost it. English picks it up, gives it off to Bont, who sends a kick deep. Oh, McLean! What a mark! How did he do that? So, Toby McLean. This for back-to-back -back goals for the Dogs, and he's got it. English to McLean. Sends it deep. Good mark, Jaray. This for his second. And he's got it, Jeray. Here you go, Port Adelaide. That's a big kick. Farrell. Oh, that's just too good. They're just too good, Port Adelaide. Back in the middle. McRae. There you go. The siren goes. I think that might be the dog's biggest loss for the year. And it's come in the final round 
of the home and away season. Not ideal. I'll be honest, I reckon I got team selection wrong. I reckon I picked too many tools. I, I added three tools to the defense. Thinking that that would be a good idea, but uh, I don't think it was. Plus, we were pretty poor out of the center as well. I would love to see the center clearance stat. I reckon we got pretty smashed out of the center, but... Anyway... That's the final score. Bulldogs 6-2-38, destroyed by Port Adelaide 14-3-87. Robbie Gray with the most disposals, 13. Rosie kicked four. The only multiple goal kicker for the Dogs was Jeray with two. Let's have a look at the player of the match. Gray got the maximum votes. Rosie Boak also got votes. So, not a great result in the final game of the home and away season. I'm going to be a bit cheeky. I'm not going to show you the ladder until the next episode, next week. So you won't know who the dogs are playing in week one of the finals until the next episode. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to the channel by pressing that subscribe button. would really appreciate that. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And also, go check out all my other socials as well. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, uploading on all those platforms. Go check it out in the links in the description. Well, there you go. That's the end of this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, fingers crossed the dogs can get up in real life against Essendon on Sunday. I'll be going to the match. I cannot wait for it. Uh, until next time, go the doggies! Bye for now.